To make something special, you just need to believe it's special. Okay, now that I've gotten that out of the way. Rally. Um... What do I say about this episode? You know, I, I feel like a broken record, but it was great to see the mother again. Wish we'd seen more of her. Parts of it were funny, but mostly it just felt like another useless filler episode. Just, you know, padding until we finally get to the finale. Just, I, I kind of wish it was just, you know, we'd just get it over with already. And I, I did look it up this week. Um... Now, it looks like now we have, from here we have six episodes to go. And I just, it just seems like, it seems like both that there's not that much left to get to, to cover before the finale, and yet at the same time it feels like there's so many unanswered questions. I just, I'm, I'm so nervous about what's going to be in these last six episodes. I just, we're not going to see, um... Ted and the mother fall in love. I'm I'm really afraid at this point that how I met your mother is gonna end up being this really rushed scene in the final episode. Um, we're not gonna see Ted tell the mother he loves her for the first time, and yes, I am gonna keep harping on that, because that was actually set up in a previous episode, you know, seasons of, ago. And I was thinking about this, and I remembered why the payoff of the locket bothered me so much, because, um... You know, when, um, when Ted says, he'll never forget the first time he told the mother that he loved her. It was outside of a movie. The movie they wanted to see was all sold out. And the movie was The Wedding Bride 3. And, you know, when they brought up the locket this season, and, and you know, now Stella is back in Ted's life, I thought that was a great connection. Um, but no, when it turned out instead to be just this, you know, trip down let's revisit all of Ted's past romances and how they all self-destructed. I, I know that Ted sucks at this. Can we please move on? Talk about something else? You know, plot device wasted, if you ask me. Um, you know, and I guess that that's the real issue that I have with this season, is that there is so much potential for storytelling here, with James's divorce, uh, you know, Raman's mom not coming in to see her wedding. Um... You know, the, the the Rome thing got wrapped up easy peasy. Um, you know, Barney's Loretta hooking back up with Sam. There's so many opportunities to tell great stories this season. But they're not. It's just, it's stupid joke after stupid joke, wasting time. This season has become so overstuffed. You know, it feels like the story stuff that could have been, if you took out all the story stuff, from this season. It probably could have been told in half the time. And that the rest of the time could have been spent, you know, you know, showing more of the mother, showing more of her relationship with Ted, showing, you know, and I'm not, I'm not saying I wanted this, ser this season to be completely serious and, you know, totally heart-wrenching, but at the same time, there's nothing. There's really nothing. At the very least, this episode was entertaining. You know, Rally, it made me laugh several times, which, you know, is more than I can say. We had some boring episodes at the top of the season. Um, my mom didn't think it was quite as funny. She wasn't laughing throughout like I was, but uh, the one joke that really got her that had us both going was the thing with Ted and the bacon, which was glorious. Like that... <laughs> I guess, though, it's hard to go wrong with bacon jokes. Why was there bacon in the soap? I made it myself! And my sister brought up a, a good point. She said, you know, at least this one feels more like it's related, you know, at least it's it's related to the wedding at, in some way. Uh, you know, it looks like there's some kind of forward momentum as opposed to just being 10-year-old flashbacks or, you know, stuff that never actually happened, like in Slap Mara. Although... Maybe I'm just a weirdo because I enjoyed um, Slapointment in Slapmara a lot more than I enjoyed this one, and Slapmara was not a good episode by any means. And you know, um, the the whole thing with Barney, I you know what was weird to me about that was you know seeing Lily have her epiphany and go, oh, he really does love us. Of course he does. You know, you know Barney. You know he's a jerk. He's a colossal tool, but. He's been selfless in the past. You know, he's made 
incredibly nice gestures to all of them over the course of the series, so I don't know why it's this big dramatic reveal that Barney actually does care about them. It was nice to see that, you know, Stinson's uh, Fixer Elixir, which could have been just really silly, was turned into something really sweet and, you know, showing that Barney really is there for all of his friends when it matters, but I don't know, it just, it, it felt kind of forced. That, that is forcing schmaltz. Because I like schmaltz, but you gotta do it right. And it just didn't feel right there. It was like, oh, he really does care about, like, I don't, the, the sweet thing about that was, you know, then they got to turn around and do something for Barney that he's always wanted. Uh, they, they put on the weekend at Barney's, which was nice. And at the same time, there's, there is no chemistry between Barney and Robin this season. There's no connection. There's nothing here that is convincing me that these two people are ready or even want to be married to each other. And now we're at the day of the wedding. How, what are they gonna fill? Okay, six whole episodes to go and we're at the day of the wedding. What are they gonna fill it with? I don't know, I'm kinda scared. There, there's really nothing more that I can say. Uh, this, this entire season has just been really, really disappointed and I'll be happy when it's over, sadly enough. Um, but I am, at the very least, I am still hoping for at least, at least one more really good interaction between Ted and the mother. So it's just something really, really fantastic to end the series, uh, on a high note. I guess that's it. Nothing else to say. Um, let me know what you thought. Uh, let me know what you're hoping to see. If there's anything I'm forgetting, like any any loose ends that still need to be wrapped up or, you know, plot threads that could have gone somewhere and didn't, let me know if I'm leaving one out. Um, <laughs> I guess I'll see you uh, in the next episode. Huh. Here's the hoping it'll be better. Take care.